Beginning tomorrow, the Desert Care Network will be hosting weekly vaccination clinics aimed at helping the Valley's most underserved and vulnerable populations. The clinics will be held each week on Thursdays or Fridays. I spoke today with the Chief Strategy Officer of Community Advocacy, Linda Evans. Linda, it's great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Peter. Glad to be here. Normally, I speak with you on behalf of the city of La Quinta since you're the mayor, but today it's because of your role at Desert Care Network. Absolutely, and I'm thrilled to be able to wear both hats and provide the information you need for your viewers. We appreciate it, too. And I know that Desert Care Network will be holding three weekly vaccine clinics starting tomorrow. What can you tell us about that? Absolutely, Peter. So we have been holding community clinics since January at varied locations throughout the Coachella Valley, and we've become now part of the MyTurn Blue Shield system. So all of the scheduling will now go through the state system of MyTurn. So those clinics launch tomorrow. And on Thursdays weekly, we'll be held at JFK at the Sedona Surgery Center, up in High Desert Medical Center at the Joshua Tree facility that we operate and manage. And then on Fridays, every Friday here in Palm Springs at the Neurovitality Center on Alejo Road. And I know the network has been focusing on underserved and vulnerable populations for a while now. So let me ask, is there enough outreach being done for them? And, and do you know if the vaccination process in Riverside County and the Coachella Valley is going to change anytime soon? I don't believe the vaccination process is going to change anytime soon. We've been partnering with varied groups that are providing vaccines, Desert Healthcare District, working with governing board members that have relationships in like the Highland Gateway area of Palm Springs, clearly down in the thermal area of East Valley. And so between the county, the, the varied medical groups that are providing vaccines and with Desert Care Network, of course, the other hospital in the Valley is also offering vaccines. We have ample supply and the Riverside County Board of Supervisors is dedicated to making sure that we have a high percentage of our employee and resident population vaccinated. It's interesting. I've spoken with other medical officials who say that the supply has outperformed the, the demand, that apparently they have more than they, than they anticipated. Are you seeing that with your clinics? I will say that we are in a much better position than we were three weeks ago as we were entering the transition from county supply into state supply. And there was a small delay in the ordering process, but we now are seeing that there are regular commitments for vaccines for first dose, second dose. And as you've been hearing on the news and has been reported in the county meetings, there are more vaccines now than there are people interested in taking them. So we're doing what we can to reach out and encourage people to be vaccinated. And before we let you go, Linda, what can you tell us about the number of COVID patients in hospitals right now? The number of COVID patients continues to decline. We have really run between one and two patients for the last couple of weeks at JFK Memorial Hospital in Indio. We had 10 today at Desert Regional, and that's really gone between 8 and 11 the last couple of weeks. And I, and I know that valley-wide, there are next to no ICU stays. If, if there are, it's one on a rare occasion versus what we saw several months ago with the surge where we were beyond capacity in our ICUs. Linda, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much, Peter. Pleasure. Again, the vaccination clinics begin this Thursday at locations in Palm Springs, Indio, and Joshua Tree. You can find more information on our website, KESQ.com.